How can you get the right work ethic to be the next millionaire recruiter? Check out this video right now and find out. Hey, welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your millionaire recruiter. And if you have not seen this channel before, it's all about upping your game in the recruiting industry. So let's get to it. So you have all hopefully had enough time to think about what is this quiet quitting? Well, I'm just going to not even get into that. I'm gonna talk about your work ethic as the next millionaire recruiter because that's what matters. I think what's super important is to not think about, well, this person caused me to not work as hard. This person didn't give me the right mentor. This person didn't tell me what to do at every given moment. It's not about that. What it's about is making sure that no one affects your ability to get your job done and rock it. It doesn't matter if you today are a janitor at the recruiting company you wanna work at, you need to be the best janitor at that recruiting company because your work ethic will shine through in anything you do. Um, it does not matter. So for example, right now, where our business needs are, they want needed to tag me in and be a sourcer. Great, I did it and I rocked it and I enjoyed it because it doesn't matter what job I am tasked with doing, if it is going to up the business gain, I'm going to do it. If it's gonna help out other my other colleagues, my other employees, I'm going to do it and I'm gonna do the best job at it. That's what's important. Again, do not let a poor manager or someone that is just barking orders at you shut you down. No one can affect what's inside here. And again, no one can affect your ability to be the next millionaire recruiter. So let's talk about work ethic and let's really dig deep because it comes from within. Hopefully it was something that you were taught, but it doesn't matter. Again, you are in charge of your own destiny, however that looks for you, but you need to know what you want to accomplish, not just you know in five years from now, but you want to know what you want to accomplish today in the next three months, in the next six months, in the next year, and really think that far out. You might be thinking, but I get asked in interviews where I see myself in five years. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on that at all. Focus on what you can accomplish and what you can bring to the table because your work ethic is so strong. I am constantly asked, what makes a great recruiter? Of course, I always go back to training. <laughs> you have to train, right? be a thriversity, hopefully, um, but it always comes down to work ethic. I can teach anyone in the universe to be a great, badass, next millionaire recruiter if they have the right work ethic. So again, what does that look like? That means you are not ever being fake busy, which yes, I have a video on that. Um, it means that you are going into your day, you know what you want to accomplish, and you know what in your mind your KPIs are, um, and not just as a sourcer, not just like, oh, I have to send out 150 emails a week, so I'm only gonna send out 50 on Monday because I don't wanna get too far ahead of my, of my goal. No, that's coming in on Monday and saying, I'm gonna bust out as many emails as I can and be the most efficient recruiter I can in order to get ahead of my week. There is no procrastinating. Um, I used to always think of myself as, I was a procrastinator, like give me a deadline and I'll hit it. That's not what got me to be the next millionaire recruiter. There is no procrastination. It's always doing your best job today. And I know you're thinking, well, sometimes I can't run at 150%. And that's fine. It's just your best job you can do today based off of the day you had, right? So I, I know that, that it, it comes up here for sure. Um, so, but you also want to think about, um, okay, how can I produce results that are not even expected of me. What other jobs, what other tasks can I do that maybe again is not under my job description, but it gives me visibility to be a better employee, to be a better colleague, and then gives you like this whole other perspective of other jobs that you can do and challenge yourself. You have to constantly challenge yourself in order to have good work ethic as a recruiter. You have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You have to talk to candidates um, right off the whim before you, you know, you have enough time to look at what they do. They're just going for it. You have to, when you are trying to do biz dev and you want to grab clients, you're starting your agency or you're in an agency and you need clients, don't you don't need to research them as much. If they want to talk to you in 30 minutes, you talk to them in 30 minutes. 
that is that push, that drive, that desire that is going to set you apart and your work ethic is strong. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to say, hey, let's say you're sourcing, for example. You don't want to wait until 3 o'clock when you already know you're lagging a little bit to source. You have to really understand yourself and know when are you go, when are you on top of your game. So like for me, for example, I'm at the top of my game starting at like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I work out in the morning, that gets me going, and I know that if I have um, – tough day or if I have to you know really accomplish something big I'm gonna do it in the morning I'm not gonna wait until the afternoon that's silly I'm gonna do maybe admin work in the afternoon because I'm lagging a little bit and I need that you know pump of energy um, so this really this whole video just is really encompassing and kind of putting the quiet quitting aside because you shouldn't have time for that you are someone that wants to constantly move the needle not only for yourself for your company whether it's your own company or someone else's, um, you want to move that needle and you want to show that, look, I'm here to play the game. Look at me. Look at me. See me. I'm here for this and my work ethic is strong and I can tackle absolutely anything. So you might also be thinking, oh, man, I'm tired. <laughs> um, I've tried. I failed. I failed over and over and over again. I got you. I've been there. I've done that. Um, for sure. <laughs> so you have to figure out how are you going to overcome the fatigue. Uh, one, again, you have to take care of yourself. Um, that's why I work out. Uh, otherwise, I'd be crazy. <laughs> um, but also, you have to figure out, like, again, um, what do you need? Uh, I did a video recently on manifesting, which has helped me tremendously. Um, so find what you need. Try other things, even if it feels silly. You know, did it feel silly for 45 days writing over and over, almost like standards, like, of what I wanted? Yeah, kind of, sometimes. But it works. Things like that work. You have to focus up here, which again will, will just jumpstart your work ethic and put that fatigue aside. Um, I do not suggest, though, working yourself to the bone and then therefore you don't see clearly and, and again, that fatigue is, is too terribly strong. Um, I'm just talking about making sure that you're efficient and you know what you need to do. You can put your head down when you need to put your head down and you look up when it's time to see strategy, when it's time to work with others and see, hey, can I help them over here, over there, what's going on? Because again, let me just end with this because I think it's really, really, really important is the most powerful thing as a recruiter, as an ex-millionaire recruiter, is work ethic. So own it, do it, and rock it. Okay? And pump yourself up, whatever you need to do. Even if it's a zip fizz, because that's what I do. <laughs> I know they didn't pay me to say that. Um, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope also you were thinking when you heard the the quiet quitting that it it kind of motivated you. Like, look, I'm not. That's not me. That's not who I am. I'm going to keep fighting through because I'm a survivor. Um, you are strong, right? Write that over and over again. I am strong. I will fight through this. I will be the next billionaire recruiter and go do it. And if you need any help whatsoever, I'm here for you for sure. Um, I've got recruiting coaches via Thriveversity. I got the courses. Um, come check it out. Come really just invest in yourself. But I think even watching this video right now, you're investing in yourself. So, um, also check out, which I hope you are enjoying, uh, the Talent Takeover Unfiltered podcast, which is also going to be featured on this YouTube as well. Um, so enjoy, please comment, and I'm going to start doing some awesome videos based off of the comments and the things that you are all wanting. So I will try to accommodate as best I can. I will see you every Thursday at noon, and do not forget that money is just the vessel to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. Go live it. See you next week.